Let's move on to the squad then that you've just selected. Um, you said Patrick Bamford was close to the squad back in March. He's now made this one. Why now? Well, I think this is a, 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 obviously a fresh cycle. We were always going to pick the bulk of the squad um, from the summer. We were, we were only two games into a new season, so we were never looking to make a lot of changes. There are obviously some players... Um, Ben White has, has had a situation with, with COVID. Um, ben Chilwell hasn't played a game since the Champions League final through no fault of his own. Um, so there are other players that haven't had as much football um, in the squad. Um, but those two in particular are, are, are kind of ruled out. Uh, Phil Foden and Marcus Rashford, of course, injured. Um, so there was an opportunity for us uh, in the forward areas we were very pleased with what Ollie Watkins did uh, at the end of last season um, and now is an opportunity for, for Patrick as a, as a number nine as well. Um, it, it, I think his, his progress with Leeds has been excellent. He, um, you know, very close thing at the end of last season with us and th this is a good chance for him to come back in. We work with him under 21 level so we know him uh, anyway and uh, yeah, a, a fabulous moment for him and his family talking about you for quite a long time around this part and the England, the England manager's been talking about you as well so you must have known you were close to a call-up but now that it's actually happened how does it feel? Yeah it's unreal to be honest um, obviously I, I got my hopes up a few times last year um, I remember there was a few sleepless nights before the, the squad got announced and it, it didn't nothing came of it in the end but um, I knew because obviously Gareth was mentioning my name that I was getting closer and to be honest, this time round, I thought that um, I didn't even think about it. Like, I forgot that the squad announcement was that day. I just went into training like any other day and um, yeah, found out in the morning. So it was great news and I couldn't believe it. How did you find out? Um, I'd literally just been doing some media thing at Ellen Road. And then I went straight into training then and um, I got a FaceTime call off the technical director. I was like, what's that? And I was trying to get ready for training and get changed. And um, so I didn't answer it and I got another one straight away. So I thought I'd better answer. And um, he was showing me the email from England to the club secretary. Showed me my name above or below Calvin's. And yeah, that was how I found out.